Look how they grunt. MG12. All that DOA. Right there. Those are all Peacock bass. That's all I'm using. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm your host, Brian the CEO. Every time I come in here to uh, video, my cat comes in to take a dump. Why, Hobie? Why? Listen, I'm not a professional angler. I don't want to be. I don't try to be one. I'm just someone who loves fishing and loves to promote the love of actual fishing and the outdoors and stuff. So if you like that kind of content, if you like just seeing people going fishing and traveling and being outdoors, then hit subscribe right now and turn on your notification bell because that's what I provide on this channel. In this episode, I take my boat for a sea trial. It's been over a year since I've taken my boat out and little did I know that when they put it back together, they didn't do a good job because my GPS wasn't working. My jack plate wasn't working. And when I got out on the flat to do some snook fishing, my trolling motor was completely fried. Why? The batteries are wired backwards. And then the following day, I am going to the Miami Hurricanes game to watch some college football with my boy Chris. But before the game, you know I had to bounce around and uh, do a quick little fishing session. So enjoy the episode. Sea trial right now for the boat. It's been over a year since I've taken the boat out on the water myself. First hour of outgoing tide right now, so I'm gonna try and hit the flats. I'm trying to get my trolling motor working and Carlos is over here catching sea trout. Bro. Yellow jack. That is a delicious fish there. Right there. That's a delicious fish. I'm just using a little thumper shrimp. They sent me some to test out and that was my first cast on the thumper shrimp. And I got thumped. Got him. Oh. Little mangrove, little mangrove. But the thumper shrimp, quick release, the thumper shrimp is pulling off. Come on again. Thumper shrimp life. Today, I've only got a couple hours to fish. So I'm gonna hit a couple locations just around my neighborhood within literally like a one mile radius of my house. I probably shouldn't say that so you have an idea of where I live because uh, I know some of y'all are stalkers, but it's okay. It's okay, I protect myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop around because I gotta go to the Canes game today and tailgate a little bit, you know, just relax go enjoy a football game with my boy Chris. I'm gonna run into my buddies, Hurricane and some of those guys too. But yeah, if you guys like fishing in the outdoors uh, and comedy, I do comedy skits about the outdoors and fishing and you know, with my wife as well. So it's always a good fun. So if you guys like content like that, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now because it doesn't matter how many subscribers a channel has, they made a change where if you don't have the notification bell on, you still don't get notified if they post content. A little baby gator. We got high tide. Got a bird down here. There he goes. 
Let me see if I can get down here in my slides without busting my butt. Make sure there's no crocodiles. Ooh, come on, come on. That, my friend, is shark bait. So Jack, come on. I'm in the sunlight. Look how they grunt. Fortunately, I got no use for you today, buddy. That's all I'm using. It's just a Cabela swim bait. Um, I typically use the Salt Strong, but I got a bunch of these for fresh water. Uh, the Salt Strong is the same mold, but um, they work. They work well. I'm pairing this up with the Cast King MG12. Super lightweight uh, bait caster. And I have it on the Paragi too, but this is a beautiful little setup. Get it in the sunlight for you, right there. Nice, lightweight, perfect setup. So I just pulled over at another spot. You guys probably recognize it. I like pulling fish out of awkward locations. So this is no different. I just pulled up, got the cameras turned on. And uh, let's see, see what we can catch. That's what I'm using. Right there, bomb bomb, Cast King MG12 with a little Cabela, three inch swim bait. Weighted, weighted hook, but we're gonna drop this right. There's a pipe right over here. So I'm gonna drop it right in front of that pipe. Sometimes there's a fish, sometimes there's not. But we're gonna find out. I'm on. I'm on. Ooh, that's a nice fish too. Ooh. That was my first cast, right? He's angry. Look at that. Let me get in the sunlight for you guys. Right there. Nice fish. Cast King MG12. Little hump head on him. Everything you guys see that. First cast. Destroyed my lure. But yeah, and when it splashed, some of that dookie water just hit me in my face, so. Woo! That's gross. Cause this is some dirty water. Ugh. I hate dookie water, but it holds fish. So, you know. All right, let's get back in front of that pipe again. Seemed to have worked. Go one down this edge here. fish beautiful fish take this muck off little Mayan sickler right there destroyed my lure that's it right there I'm gonna give it a couple more casts and then I'm gonna go to another spot right there Good, man. God bless, big fan. I appreciate it. Hey, is it okay if we take a quick picture before Sorry, we go to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? How you doing, guys? <laughs> big fan, bro. Amazing, I appreciate bro. it, man. God bless. Let's take a look. Go. Thank you, man. I'm getting uh, on it, bro. Not a problem, man. Hey, nice because there's a crocodile up ahead over there. Oh, Fred? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 I don't know if it's Fred. Oh, it's another Fred. one? Yeah, I know Fred. Fred is the, the, the big, big one. The big, big one, yeah. But yeah, there's like a little one around there. Probably like seven foot. All right, cool. Maybe that's his bubbles right here. Probably. Let me try and catch him real quick. <laughs> God bless you, Hey, you too, man. It's always cool, man. Meeting people. I saw you one time in public, but I didn't want to bother you. Oh, no, bro. Anytime you see me, just say what's up, bro. I'm not like that. Oh, <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, guys, if you guys see me in public, 
just say what's up. It's all good. I'm just a regular guy doing regular guy things, and that's it, you know? If you love fishing and you love what we're doing and stuff, I like to hear about it. Oh, man. But on that last cast just there, it was either a snook or a largemouth. Came up on me, but I was working the lure a little too fast. Guys, that is all peacock bass. All of them. Look, 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 look. Those are all peacock bass. Like I said, if you guys enjoy the outdoors and this style of content, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bells. Because one, I'll appreciate it. I'll love you long time. We love you long time. So there's a ton of fish, but most of them are not feeding. That's the weird part. They're just chilling in here together, just swimming around. They're not even chasing baits or nothing. One, quick release. There we go. One fish out of a thousand. And this lure, usually if I see fish, I catch it. So I'm in my fields that I've only caught one fish so far, like big time. No one's around me, but I'm still embarrassed. I've only caught one fish, one. I feel like an utter failure. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now if you do like this content and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me, you know, get pushed up in the algorithm. So uh, if you guys could do that, I would greatly appreciate it, you know, and uh, I guess there's only one thing left to say. Until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward and tight lines. Zzz.